Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, I am over at the Surface Grinder today and we're going to be grinding in a magnetic chuck. This is on a uh, magnetic compound sign plate that I have. Recently picked this up and I just want to make sure that the top of this thing is nice and true. So uh, we're going to stick it. I've already got it stuck up here on the bag plate on my, my Surface Grinder and now we're going to grind the top of this mag plate. Let's get in here and get it done. So what we've got here is a brown and sharp magnetic compound sign plate. Now, why in the world would somebody need one of these things? Well, if you're doing angles, or more specifically with this one, compound angles, this thing is perfect. So if you look, there's actually two sets of hinges on this thing where this whole sign plate will adjust up and down. Let me get on the other side where I can pick this up. So over here, it adjusts up and down in this direction, and then this way, it adjusts up and down this direction. So between those two combinations of angles, I can set a very precise compound angle or just a single angle, either one. The way you adjust it is, is you put stacks of gauge blocks up underneath these, uh, these points here. Basically, it's on a three-point system. You got two hinges over here, one point here, rotates up. You put a gauge block in there, a very precision stack height, and you can calculate what that angle will be as long as you know the distance between the pivot point and the center of your, your, your uh, point here that you're resting on. And uh, we're going to be doing some angle grinding in an upcoming video, and I wanted to get this thing all set up and cleaned up. So the main thing I'm after right now is right now we've got everything set down in the zero position. So everything is basically uh, on without any gauge block stacks in here at all. And I want to come in here and make sure that this top is but parallel to everything, nice and flat and parallel to my magnetic chuck down here below it so that we got a nice uh, surface to work off of. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this little fence off the end. We're gonna come in here. We need to uh, dress our wheel on the, on the surface grinder and start grinding. So this fence is just on here with a couple of cap head screws. So we'll just come in here and take this off real quick. This is just for you to have something to put a part up against reference if you've uh, got to take it on and off to make sure your positions are the same every time. But for what we want to do, we want to get the whole table ground out to the very end. I just put a, a new wheel on here, or at least one that I just put on anyway. But because of that, you know, we know that it's probably not running perfectly true across the bottom. And on surface grinding, you want to have a nice, very uh, flat and true outer diameter on your grinding wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and true the stone up. And what we're gonna do that is we're gonna use a little uh, diamond here. This has just got a, uh, a diamond abrasive in the end of that little stack. I'm gonna go ahead and mag that down so it's nice and tight on there. My bottom mag plate is also magged down holding the, the sign plate in place. And we can come in here and now and hopefully true that wheel up. Let me uh, get it kind of over here where it needs to be. Go ahead and get a few things adjusted. So we need to bring our wheel up a little bit. So when I'm uh, doing a wheel like this, I always want to make sure that my the center of the diamond is in front of the center of the wheel. So the center of the wheel is about right here. So we want it to be coming off of that. If you get on this side of it, it could in theory grab that diamond and pull it under and gouge your wheel. So we want to always make sure we're on that side of it. And with that, we can start up the grinding wheel and we will bring this down slowly at first. I usually just take my hand, put it out here until I start to feel some abrasive coming out of that wheel. And I'm feeling some right there. And now I can just move that back and forth. I'm gonna bring the wheel down a couple of thou now. kind of listening to what I'm hearing. It sounds like it's still skipping a little bit, so I need to take a little bit more. And I think we took a nice, clean cut off of that one, so I'll go ahead and stop my wheel. De-energize the magnetic chuck. I'll pull my diamond off, and we are ready now to come in here and touch off on this uh, top and start grinding. 
All right, I'm gonna come down with the wheel now until I'm just barely touching this. come back up just a little bit. What I want to do is just come up high enough to where I'm really not even touching it. All right, so I'm real close to being right on there. I'm within probably about a half a thou. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of walk around this table and move it around and see if I see any sparks come off of it. And what I'm doing is I'm just trying to make sure I don't have any high spots on here or anything that uh, will gouge that wheel. You don't want to start on one side and start moving across and then find out when you get to the other side that the other side was 10 thousandths higher than the side you touched off on. So just trying to make sure we don't have any surprises. So far, so good. This top looks like it may have been pretty flat to start with, which it should have been. But for me, this is a new tool that came into the shop. I've, I, this will be the first time I've used it, and I don't have any past history with it, and I just like to grind these mag chucks flat the first time I use them, and that way I know that they are true to my machine. So that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, wanna adjust my stroke on this to make sure that when I put it in automatic mode, that it's uh, going to be taken cleaning up the whole way. And that's actually not bad right there. I'm going to bring the one side in just a little bit. All right, I like that. So let's uh, come over here. We'll Come back down until we touch off again. Barely touching right there. And I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna take about a half a thou deeper and we'll let it work across here. All right, should start grinding here. Go. Put a little uh, coolant on there. So far, so good, guys. Uh, you know, I'm only taking probably less than a thousand on this pass, and uh, it's cleaned up the whole way. Again, that tells me that the top is already pretty true, uh, but I just like to start fresh and, and, and know that. So uh, we'll see if it skips out anywhere as it comes across, but I'm thinking it's, uh, it's gonna come out good. What we'll probably do is, uh, if it cleans up good, I'll probably feed it down about a half a thou again and let it feed back across and then maybe come back one more time and let it spark out and uh, we'll be good to go. What I'm noticing as it gets on this end, it's taking a little bit heavier cut. So maybe there was a little bit of taper in there, but it almost looks like it's not even touching down this corner. So. Uh, yeah, I'm missing down here. So anyway, it's probably good that we did this. Um, it's pretty, it was pretty darn close to being flat, but uh, definitely got a little holiday down here. So we'll cut back across there. Make sure we got a good flat surface all the way across. All right, I think... Um,
what I'm going to do is feed it down one towel and then come back across and let it spark out. So that's one towel down. Reverse the direction on my table and let it come back across. That was taking a lot heavier cut this time. When you look, we kind of have these rings in the table. That's why you're kind of seeing that change in the spark. And what that is is a non-conductive material in there to help uh, get that magnetic flux going across that, uh, that magnetic plate there. And that's the reason, because we have two different materials in there, that's the reason you're seeing that kind of um, surging as that, that wheel goes across it. All right, I'm gonna give it about a half a thou. We'll come back across there. All right, I'm down fed about a half a thou. We're gonna come back across here just to clean it up a little bit more. Uh, a little bit lighter pass this time, and then after this pass, I'll probably just let it spark back across, going back across the other way without adjusting it down at all. So we're taking a real light pass this time, just to get a nice surface finish on there. Well, I decided to come in here and just redress this wheel one more time before I take that last final pass. And I also realized something else. They recommend when you're doing a magnetic uh, chuck to have the magnetic field on when you're grinding it because that can actually change the geometry of the top of the plate probably by 10 thousandths of an inch. But we're trying to get a nice surface on here. So when I cut back across the next pass, I'll make sure I put the lever in the own position uh, just to be on the safe side. So let's go ahead and uh, put this in here. All right, I'm getting some feeling the grit there. Feed it down just a few more ten thousandths of an inch. Take that off. Make sure to turn my magnetic flux back on there. It's feeding down very, very slowly and I'm looking for that first spark. All right, we're gonna let it go on across now. I'm just taking a real light pass again. Nice fresh grind on my wheel. Well, there you go guys, I'm real happy with that finish. Looks good. We got one little spot here where it had been gouged into before, but that's below the surface. For magging something down, that won't matter. A couple of other divots in there, but all in all, looks good. Um, really didn't have to take a whole lot off of this. Uh, at probably no more than about two thou total, but really that first half thou that we went across there cleaned up most of it, just kind of futzing around with it and trying to get to finish just like I wanted it. But um, anyway, I'm real happy with that. I think this is ready to go now. We're ready to set this thing up for a job and uh, I've got a job we're gonna be doing on this, cutting an angle, not a compound angle, but a single angle. And uh, we'll be doing that in another video down the road.
Well, there you go, guys. A quick little video on regrinding a magnetic chuck. This is something you just need to do on your on your surface grinders from time to time. Just freshen these surfaces up, make sure they're good and true. And again, with this one being a brand new one to me, not a brand new one, but a brand new to me, I just wanted to verify that I knew and had confidence that it was flat. Uh, now I feel good about this and we can go ahead and set this thing up and go to using it. Don't have to do it every time you use it, but again, because I just have, I don't have any history with it, I wanted to just make sure it was right to start with. Uh, only thing I'd do different if I was doing it again was uh, make sure I had that magnetic field on. I don't know why it just didn't hit me and when I was going across here looking at it, I'm like, you ding dong, you forgot to turn that on. But anyway, we cleaned that up uh, on that last pass, but ideally you'd want to do this with the magnetic field turned on the entire time. And with that, that's going to be a wrap. Thank you guys for watching. As always, leave me some comments, thumbs up if you like what you see. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time around. Thanks for watching.